Hello everybody, welcome to the stream and today we're going to be carrying on with Tales of Berseria. Right, we're going to start off with... Actually, where, where, which part did I go? <laughs> oh, up the mountain, that's it. Um, uh, well, let me see. Part of me kind of wants to go against the enemy. How about that? Let me see. It's a bit of a trek to get over there, but... I'm not sure. I wasn't sure to go this way first, then that. You know what, we'll go up and see what's, what's going on up ahead. Oh! It's literally an endpoint. Okay. We'll do it on the way back then. The um, the red enemies. I'm just going to call them that. I forgot what the proper term is. There is a chest there, but can I get it? Only... Oh, I've just realised I kind of want to get my expedition. Take a look at this. Oh well, yeah, well. a triple now win. A fine haul. Get in there. I've got some cabbage and some Worcester sauce. Oh, new recipe! I've got to try it. I'm good because I'm not a big fan of just vegetables. <laughs> yeah. So maybe a tasty cabbage. Oh, that's another thing I do not like. I do not like cabbage. And other vegetables keep the whole table quiet except for crunchy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> now it's up to you. Well, yeah, we kind of want to go there again. Scout ship departed. It's very quiet. Give me that chest. Give me that chest. Oh, look at all that. Oh, yeah, I'm nearly five hundred. I've not come across another cat. Oh, yeah. Wait, there's some supposed to be um. Something for me to interact here? Oh. I can't wait to take a good look around. Whoa. Now that's what I call a view. Now it's quite a view. Beautiful, but don't leap about so much. You'll fall. Hmm. Oh, Eleanor, do you want I to see over the edge? Oops. <laughs> I figured you'd notice that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very am brutal with Eleanor. <laughs> Mountains like these would normally take tens of thousands. I can just see velvet going. These oh, about a what millennium. a shame! <laughs> so the earth have the land? Exactly. Long ago, people wielded arts that allowed them to manipulate the earth pulses and control the very land itself. That is How could quite arts like a that view. Exist? It's gorgeous. Perhaps they pushed against key points on the earth pulses, like how acupressure can improve a person's blood flow. That's a rather forced comparison, <laughs> but you may be right. Either way, Are you sure? those arts have been lost for eons. I'm impressed, Eisen. You know a lot about everything. Not at all. There's so much I don't know. For example, the name of these flowers. That's why I travel. Uh, to learn. Eldina alabaster grass. That's the name Excuse of this Excuse me, Walt. <laughs> yes. A long time ago, my brother showed me a picture of it in one of his books. They're fragile flowers. They die quickly on their own. But if enough of them mm. gather together, one of my plants needs to be like survive. that right now. <laughs> Fields of them form beautiful white carpets. Of I have flowers. to get a new flower In to some cultures, a new plant to replace kinship, it. The bonds between people. Kinship, huh? I'll remember that. You and your brother taught me something new today. I'll never forget either. Ah. All right. Here, this is the Earth Pulse point I've been feeling. I'm trying to see is there no anything on the no top barrier. of the bow um, mountain. I, I don't must see anything have gotten up there. it wrong again. I wouldn't be so sure of that. That dragon could well have broken its barrier, or it might have been too powerful oh. for the Abbey to subdue. You could be right. After all, dragons make for the strongest demons. The problem is we don't know if it's a Therian or not. Yeah. Let's stick with the plan and head to Stonebury to gather more information. Oh, that was it? <laughs> Am I the only 
anyone here who thinks the real problem is how we're supposed to fight a frickin' dragon? <laughs> it is a good point. I do wonder. Alright. Now we'll go on to the um, red enemy. Down we go. So, in search of the next fairy, and I don't know. Oh, it's over there, apparently. So, it must be on one of those green marks. That's why they were blank before. But, I'm gonna go against this creature first. Not that one. The big red um, circle on the map. Let's go, let's go. No! Wow! I nearly went into that fairy. Listen, I just want to go against that creature first. I'll come back for you guys later. You guys are tough matchups, but I want to go against this first. Oh yeah, there's like six chests around here. Oh, I'm not reading the map very well, am I? I keep going against the wall. Oh, I oh, know it was enough to solve. This is such a big open field, this one. I don't know where to look for a uh, chest. Six chests. Holy crap. I'm not sure if I'm going to come across a um, cat. That's another possible. Oh, there's a chest up there. Right in the middle of nowhere. Oh, well. That does not look suspicious at all. Oh, yeah, now I know why. That's where the red enemy is. <laughs> is it the bloody dodo? Oh, for God's sake. I battle enough of you guys in Eternal Sinatra. Looks like I'm going against you again. <laughs> Did I just... Did I just keep... Um, say keep and peek Holy crap! It's a level 42. That's high. Let's see if we can actually do this. Oh, damn, I was too far. I can't even see because of its giant feathery butt. <laughs> oh, Roku, that was a really, really good. We're actually doing quite well. No, leave. Leave me alone. I see something. I want that. Got it. Damn. That thing is guarded like a lot. There you go. Try again. Ah. We're actually doing all right by being a lower level. I actually don't know what level we are now. I really do need to start checking. <laughs> We are not losing that much health at all. I say that, but I bet you Eleanor is going to die on me. That was a considerably powerful enemy. 
Ooh, a lot of masters of items might have to start improving. One plus maximum source of characters varying equipment that's been enhanced with combined total trade times or more. Which, speak of which, I might have to start doing that. Oh, that went well. Right. So it's either the top one or the bottom one, but I think I might try the bottom one first. Um, I was not the one I meant to go on. Oh, we're level 33 and 34. Wow, that's pretty good, that. Um, oh, no, it's equipment. Right, the float blade has been done. Yeah, I'll use that one. As for the belts, how many of those belts do I have? <laughs> Gosh. That is freaking powerful. I kind of want to get more skills. That one's better. It's that one. So let's go with that belt. As for the garment, mm, it's a bit difficult now. Uh, oh, we got that. Okay, so. Leave what we'll do. I mean, there's a, a midi blouse, but it doesn't do too much. But. I think those are my best bet. Wow. Float waistcoat. Float waistcoat. Oh, what was that one? Oh, the thorny waistcoat. Ah, I know it takes these quite far down, but if it's to get more of the um, skills, the, the better, really. Oh, there we go. Oh, the spike shoes. Ah, he's mastered them. I would swap Roku for something else. Because the other spike shoes is better. Everyone's done with those. Guess it'll have to be that. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Perfect. Oh, for God's sake, how many of these bags do I have? And do I really need that many? Oh, yeah, I got the Jupiter satchel. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, that one, it plus something else. Um. Oh, that's the Ephedora bag. Um. I think that one might be the best bet. Because all the others, it goes down quite a lot. So, yeah. Go with that. Alright. Just one thing. Right, so he hasn't got any of the four waist coats, and since one of them is plus health, I'm going to use that. That was a definite yes. Um, ribbon? Hmm. Only one more ribbon. Oh, God. All these spears I've got, and she's not mastered any of these. But some of them are really, really nice. That is a lot. It does a lot for physical. But not a lot for special. Hmm. And I think these are the same. And more for the, um... For the physical. But the magic on that one does seem a little bit better. But I think I'm going to go with this. Just for a bit more... Um, 
experience. That's going to take a while for her to improve, but that shows they're going to be good skills. That's an unusual one, the amber doll. Looks like something you see in Minecraft. That's a piece of chocolate. That is terrifying as hell. That looks like another Minecraft. That looks like white and milk chocolate. Um, that just reminds me of Mr. Blobby. <laughs> I think I'm going to start from the bottom to the top because I don't know if it's, it's power, but... But it's just best to do that, really. Her battle garments are useless. I know it's supposed to be good for giving them as much skills, but knowing how it does a massive um, decrease on the health, it's best to leave it for now. Oh god, she's mastered too many of these. I need to get more of those boots. As you can tell, there's somebody else who's just finished with these boots. That's it. Everyone now seems to be alright at the moment. Right, so that's done. So let's go down this way. Take a soul. Goodbye. And off we go to... Oh, so they both lead to the same place. It's like, um... It looks like, um, a bow. It does make me think of that. There's quite a few areas around. Bloody hell, Nova. And there's two chests here. I think there might be one just in this corner. Not that bit. The next corner. Not that bit. I think it's the next corner. Yeah, there we go. Yep, yeah, there's a chest there. The way how it looked on the map, I was assuming that this area has one. Right, tempering powder. I'm doing this. Are we ready for this? Yeah, I'm waiting for this. So these guys are going to be stronger, but... I do want the experience. I didn't even know I had the Mystic Art. I didn't even know there was an enemy right here in front of me. Amazing and little bug. Ow! I actually felt that. Bloody hell. Just go to destroy him. Are you hurt? Can you stand? Yeah. Um did you just back off please? Oh, lost form drive. Oh, and two level ups. Oh, got some new daggers, that's great. A pair of short swords that use felled spars and main a catalyst. Catalyst, sorry. That worked out really well. Come on. Got 
Sasha. You'll be rust on my blade. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh no, I lost... I've lost too much health! Fee, help me! the dangerous encounters you do get a far more out of it even though it is harder it was but a close one. it's definitely but worth it for so that mainly just getting three leveled ups like that is incredible there we go got a new belt for velvet and some new earrings for magalu i almost forgot her name then oof much better and I missed that ball. And yeah, let's get these balls. Oof. Oh man, I do love the scenery. It's quite like different. It's not like it's um copied or just down my blast. Look, I know I wanted another one, but I need to rest first. What is... Oh, it's a save point. I mean, wave point. There we go. That's good to know. Oh, crap. It's up there. Fine, I'll get it. More Melvit. Let's use these legs. I know there's like not a lot around because it's mainly rocks and all that, but it's all the shapes, the sizes, like that just looks absolutely massive and grand. This game is near enough equally visualing as Tales of Zillia. Is a tough competition which I find is which of the areas um, backgrounds do I like the most but it's just it keeps going in my mind about Zillia's um, when you go into Jude's first um, when you go into his story and you start with his where his academy is um, it's that city and already you just see how grand it is, which is why it annoys me so much when I end up getting banished from there. It's like, oh, I want to come back here and see the view. No, and that. So it's a village in here, apparently, so... 
Bloodwing, where would I be? We'll start at the inn. It only makes sense. It most certainly does. And there's a lot of things going on here right now. Raspberries, strawberries, blueberries. They all grow in abundance around Stonebury. We even have a fairy tale about it. One day the ground was covered with so many fallen berries, mm. they all became stones. Well, okay, I'm not sure why I'm going mm, because Does there's not many berries I actually tea? like. The spelling has I found blueberries so okay. Berries are Raspberries I do not like. Blackberries I do not like. Strawberries I do not like. <laughs> there's not many, many berries I actually like. Berry-flavored gels! I've never had one. But I would only have berries if it's like in a smoothie. That's it. I just wouldn't eat perfected. berries on their own, to be Aww, honest. Rats. Not particularly are the honest. Vegetables growing in that field special too? I really I can't eat strawberries. Like I always before. find them too sour. Got but sharp eyes. but everyone nice. is so shocked with that. How much I just do not they're like red strawberries. And radish bells. We I want to like them. I do keep trying them, but I'm like, no, too sour. Really? They look so good. They do. But the skin and the sprouts are toxic. If you aren't careful when removing them, it's poisonville for you. Deadly poison aside, they're sweet, fluffy, and go great with butter. And when they're fried mm, nice and crispy, butter. they're the best. <laughs> so just skin them and sell them. What's the problem? Yes, we've thought of that. But the way they are now, you have to peel off quite a bit before you get to the edible part. Peel one as big as your fist, and all you get for Ooh. your trouble is a bit of meat the size of an egg yolk. That's why we're selectively breeding them. One day, they'll have only a thin layer of poisonous skin. Why not breed them to get rid of the poison altogether? Hmm. With no poison, bugs will eat them, uh. and they'll be more vulnerable to cold and heat. With potatoes, as with people, getting rid of everything harmful isn't oh, always potatoes. for the potatoes. I always love potatoes. I think that was. I think p potatoes you do count as a veg, just as long as it's not chips, I think. Um, but I think it was actually the first veg I ever liked. What's this? Some fresh blood. Here's for your ward, I take it. Oh, yeah! Two code red hunter addition to creeping piper. I still not done that one and I don't know why. I am trying to get back onto Dan Highway and I really do need to. Serial killer tree. God. I don't know where that is, but uh should be too far. Let's find someone else to talk to. I did. Ah! So many God, that what girl do scared me then. <laughs> I do hope everyone's chicken. enjoying the stream that so much. <laughs> what? You know that won't work, right? It sure will. The color of yolks change depending on what a hen eats. My grandma taught me that. Hmm. Actually, we always feed our chickens corn. Is that why their yolks are yellow? What are you going to do with purple eggs? Oh, anyway? yeah, sweet corn. Tourists are coming from the mm. capital again, right? I do like sweet corn. I bet they've never seen purple eggs. I used to only eggs, like them as so a, I a corn on the cob. For a lot. But it was not until <gasps> quite a few years Maybe later I started I to like loose corn. Famous. You've thought this out. But will they really sell? You know what they'd make, right? Purple fried eggs, purple omelets, purple egg fried rice. Ugh. Hey. Would you want to eat a purple omelet? Strange things sell, right? You don't have to be so mean <laughs> just because you can't think of a better idea. Oh, sorry. Here, let me help you. Fine. Go catch a whole barrel full of jewel beetles. If we feed them to my chickens, we'll get eggs with yolks like shining jewels. I don't think it works quite really like that way, be but... Your chickens, but... Mm, okay. What a carefree village. But you know, this is oh. what really makes humanity amazing to me. Attempting the impossible. Reaching for the stars. Just it as does a seem like a course. very nice village. Aye, 
But it just makes me worried that all of these guys are going to turn into demons, just like that poor village before in the beach or by the beach. Impossible, huh? That's all well and good, but there are some lines that should never be crossed. Purple eggs. I'm sure that wouldn't have looked too bad. Purple eggs. Right, and you. The water around here is ideal for producing wine and spirits. I've been thinking about fermenting something new. What will you make? This region's specialty is berries, so a berry wine? Hmm. But mm. the chilly air and level of humidity here should be just right for making an amber draft, don't you think? Considering the geography around here, the water must contain a high mineral content. If you use it to make a rice wine, the taste will be unique. I've mm. considered all those options, but I must create something that can surpass my greatest rival, Sleeping Princess. But that's nearly impossible to make. <laughs> As an exactly. unusual name, the Sleeping Princess. Not an easy Sounds task, interesting. to say the least. Sleeping Princess is made by filling an emerald cask with water from an enchanted mountain spring and sitting it in direct sunlight for seven years. Bloody hell, talk about the most time consuming wine ever. When it reaches the same that sounds very difficult to make. Cask, I wouldn't want to drink ready. it as solar fermenting. Huh? It takes that long just to bloody make it. Of the wine making world like Sleeping Princess. True, but I've finally found it. The ultimate stone. A gemstone? Will you make a cask from it? That would just make it an imitation. No, what I found can only be called a natural rock filter. You're filtering wine with a rock? Deep in the heart of these mountains, I found a stone that absorbs liquids. I tried using it to filter a berry wine. The taste of it was unbelievably crisp and bright. It preserved the luscious richness of the berries while adding a clarity that left me breathless. This town definitely talks so much about food. Wine. There is and no drink. better. <laughs> May I have a taste? Uh, my apologies, but it took me ten years to make a single thimbleful. I drank that thimbleful for my tasting. It'll be about fifty years before I can make a decent batch. I doubt I'll see a full bottle in my lifetime. Fifty years, wow. huh? Meet you back here then? <laughs> I've never been so glad not to be human. Oh, <laughs> my expedition returned. Funny timing. Our scout ship has ah. Leveled up. I knew this would be big. What a treasure! Antique tarot cards. A deck of cards given by a woman in the Force Islands. For some reason, the edges has been honed to raise a sharpness. Oh, God. New skill. Master of trivia. Oh, new costume discovered. Swimwear for velvet. Yep. Scout ship the Let's see what the swimwear looks like. Oh, very nice. I wouldn't... I oh, went for that. Oh yeah, let me zoom in. Yeah, I, it almost looks like a little dress. I think the reason is because I put the rose corsage on there and the sword, it makes it look more like a dress than a swimwear. Because it, to me, it actually just looks like a nice little dress. I actually do have a lot for velvet. So we've got... That one makes me think of Alice in Wonderland. I don't... I forgot which character it is, but it's definitely one of the older Tales of series. The f that one is from Alice in Wonderland. I do like that. That is actually quite nice, that. So it is possible later on, I think I might change it to the Japan clothes instead of the pirate outfit. You got the prisoner. And the village. And then you got the regular outfit. She's got so many. 
be honest, the pirate outfit is actually kind of similar to our regular outfit. I just realise it. Kind of similar. Stoneberry hasn't had much luck growing just yet, but this mm -hmm. pioneer town has a lot of potential. I thought Please I could hear shouting well on one side of my the ear then, great from somewhere else. Oh, we're also close to the quarries, so stone isn't a problem. As long as the demons are contained, this country will rebuild. Oh, I just realized there's a the cat there and a really, 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 really big, Best massive all, tree. This area is quiet, has beautiful tree lakes, stump. and is a perfect place for a craftsman like me to work. And why settle for anything less? I do feel that you might be a bit short-handed here. It's hard to build without manpower. You're right. We need something to attract new settlers. Maybe some sort of specialty item? Is there any fruit or vegetable that can only be found around here? There is a type of potato called the radish bell that we See, grow. See, another type of food. Oh my god! <laughs> quirks. If you want to attract people, you should just ring a bell. Come to Stonebury, where the money grows on trees. Hmm. A bell tower, huh? That might actually work. We can even use local stones for the bell. So, the Stoneberry Stone every bell time I just notice when I'm turning work. my character, huh? try hitting a rock. When you hear the distance of one of the oh, villages, how could I have missed on this side, I can hear I'm the villager to the right side of my, my ear. But when I turn over here, I can build. hear the villager That's on the left said. side of my ear. I need to do better. It, I really like name. that. Just nice little uh, detail with uh, when you hear the uh, villager. You need sundries. We got <laughs> There's a dog. Oh, and that. There's a dog. <laughs> I was on my way home from a trip to Logres. I did it twice because I had a bit of a hiccup in my throat, so I couldn't say it the first time. But then the second buckets, time, I still had another hiccup. Was so strong, I could hardly stay on my feet. From the vast darkness of the sky, a monster of tremendous size descended, like the essence of the storm itself. A huge oh, wow. flying demon. At that moment, a group of exorcists leapt out from their hiding spots and began to battle the demon beast. But it met their swords with its fearsome horns, and a swipe of its tail threw the noble exorcist back. Horns? And a tail? Wow. Where did the demon go? I couldn't tell you. I was so frightened, I ran away and never looked back. I hope the Abbey can get rid of it, but the beast took out three exorcists with a single blow. Come to think of it, wow. another person was there too. He faced the demon and told it to stop. Zavid. If you're going to the Aldina Plains, you'd better be careful. Wow. Very informative, that. Oh. More powder. These trees are fucking massive. Another one. Oh, treasure hunter. Oh, I thought that was a pit there, but no. Let's see about the cats. I'm missing one more. Stupid chickens. There it is. There you go. Let's go to the... Mm. Let's go to the inn. The inn's over this way. I am losing my sense of direction. Ah, oh, fuck, it's Savid. not the end. Oh, there he is. Well, hello, sailor. Are you waiting for someone? Nope. Just saying a prayer for someone. Someone? Hmm. Let's go. Clearly, there aren't any blood wings here. You're just going to leave? I'm right here. Everybody has times they need to be alone.
That was quite the grin. <laughs> to get started, thief. For quite a bit then. Coming. What do you think he was praying about? Well, for one thing, he was drinking a bottle of Thorny Forest. Oh my! The drink you share with your special someone when you're going to be married for life! How romantic! But getting your hands on that <laughs> stuff is no small feat. I can only hope I'll get a chance to taste it someday. You could swipe that some. That must have had an important meaning for Savid. That's why you left him alone. Don't read too much into it. <laughs> You're velvet, right? Oh. Huh, you must be the one who's seen the demon we're after. We saw a big snake-looking dragon fly over on the way here. Is that what you saw too? Yes, that's the one. It nests at the top of the mountain in Aldina Plains. Aldina Plains. All right. We went to look ourselves. No dragon. Mm. It only returns to its nest on rainy days. Rainy right. days, you say? Oh, look at that. It just happens to rain. What the fucking coincidence is that? <laughs> just look at what you went and made the weather gods do. This doesn't bode well. Not at all. Thanks. We'll give it another shot. All right, everybody, let's like it. Quick, before the rain stops. Is that just a phone on the floor? We're in a hurry. Save it, cats. All the better, meow. I've just stumbled upon a perfectly nifty piece of stone. Oh, it's a stone. It just looks like a bloody phone, just life size. That's not a geo board, is it? Bingo! I dug it out of some ruins, meow. They were made by Norman Meowney years ago for surfing along Earth pulses, but I can't use it, so I figured I'd pawn it off on someone else who could, Meow. I just realized that cat's just got a fish Norman on its tail. This? That doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Don't be so mean! We're capable of exceptional things! Sometimes. That uh, still doesn't sound too convincing. Name, the board springs to life and whisks its masters away at top speed! They'll even plow right through weak demons! You can even if we sort of stumbled on it by accident. Huh. Well, then I apologize. So we can ride this as long as we have Genfu with us, right? Really? Well, kind of. Do you have to use your true name to activate it? Yeah, my true name, no. My Norman name. Wouldn't that just be Bienfu? Yeah. No. Norman have a separate name that goes something like Norman so-and-so. It's almost more a title than a name. Often the name has something to do with what they're good at. Something like Attack, or Chain, or Aqua. Right. You could say names like Bienfu and Grimoire are more like stage names. I actually don't know Bienfu's Norman name, but I can't wait to find out. What is your name, Bienfu? Hmm. Uh. Come on out with it. We're in a hurry. Norman Brave. Yay! Whoa, look at that! Wait, Bienfu. <laughs> Your Norman name is Brave? Brave. <laughs> that is so deliciously absurd. Why do you think I've never told you before, Bienfu? <laughs> now I get it. The board because he's not brave. <laughs> and if we get on this board, it'll move us around? Well, about that. The board propels itself by pushing against Earth Pulse flows. To do that, the board needs information on the flows. But this one here's a completely blank slate, Meow. First, you need to find the geo trees in each area. They serve as a conduit between the oh. surface land and the Earth Pulse's Meow. Once you've actually located a geo tree, you can record that area's Earth Pulse data into your geo board, Meow. Got it. This area's geo tree is right over there, Meow. Right. Oh, that thing. So long as we find more geo trees, we'll be able to use the geo board to travel much more quickly. Let's have a look about this. 
A geoboard. A Norman invention to maneuver quickly. Search geodries to enable its use. Alright. Let's have a look. I am curious. <sighs> All right. Holy crap. Is that why I couldn't jump before on all those different places? The ones where you acquire something to get to the other side? I thought it was some kind of spell. So it turns out it was the geoboard that helps. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, I need to... Ah! I went for the one-one. While well, battling a geoboard, you can defeat enemies under a certain level without starting an encounter just by touching them. However, you would not be rewarded with XP or gold by doing so. You can start encounters while on a geoboard by using a dart box or... Oh, I don't even know how you get on it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, that's <laughs> going to come in handy. That is! Yeah, it's that's genius! I could get used to this. <sighs> I'm so worn out! I feel like I had to sprint the whole way here! Huh. Seems like operating the board saps a lot of energy from Bienfu. Even still, uh -huh. this board gives us a strategic advantage. Brave here will just have to bear a little exertion now and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brave. Buck up. I believe in you. Be brave. <laughs> ah, stop calling me that! Oh, at least I figure out which button. Oh my god, this is amazing! I'm finding the soak! <laughs> this is amazing! Why did I do that? <laughs> Where's the music come from? It's gone a lot more darker. You bloody things, and let me kill you. Victory is ours. Yeah, that was easy. Oh, a pure white male. I don't learn how to control this thing! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> it is definitely a bit faster. See that? Oh god, that was a lot. Oh, another drop earring. Round, move around. Holy crap! The dragon. It's at the top of the mountain. Tread lightly. Let's try not to provoke it. I missed! I missed! I need it! It's always one, isn't it? Right. Ow. I see. Leave me alone. I just want to get some more of these. Crap! It is so finicky! Damn 
There you go. That was not easy. Ah, I'm happy with the team I've got at the moment. Oh my god. That's a big dragon. So is it a Fabian or...? Deadly. And just check out how much malevolence it's putting out. A lot, yeah. Which means it's not a Therian. Oh. Let's retreat. We've got no reason to pick a fight with something we can't handle. I do. Oh, is? Yeah? Why? Oh, you're up for it? What? What are you doing? She's right. Fighting this creature is a good way to end up dead. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't think we have much of a choice now. Well, no turning back now. No, there is not. Oh my god, I got it. Jeez, that's a big visual. It's a 62! Damn it, this wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, but training like this doesn't come around every day. Be on your guard. One more move and you're done for. I know. That's the fun part. I don't think I was supposed to be... Am I, uh... This is a high level for us, but nowhere near. Oh. This thing is a... But this thing is a 62. We're not strong enough for this thing. Ow! I'm assuming because of how weak we are, we have to fight it to a certain point. Because we're far too weak for it. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to waste all my good items. Yes. Just, en just enough to keep us going. Oh, that sucks. What is that one? Allies BG by two while in battle. That's actually pretty useful. Oh my god! I'm oh yeah. There we go. There was no way we were able to defeat this thing. It would take far too long for starters. Yeah. This one definitely puts up a better fight than your average demon. Is there any hope of actually defeating this thing? On my money? No. I'll do whatever it takes. That's my way. Oh. Sabine. Yeah. I see you're out for blood, as usual. You knew, didn't you, Ison? Oh. Out of my way. Wow. 
What? Are you protecting the dragon? She's not a dragon. Huh? Huh? Back off, or I'll make you back off. Oh man. Damn, it got away. <sighs> that hurts, babe. And here we hadn't seen each other in so long. Oh. Hold it. Is that dragon someone you knew? I told you, she's not a dragon. <sighs> Man. So it seems old check out my pecs and the dragon have <laughs> some kind of close tie. <laughs> check out my pecs. Did I hear you right? We're talking about a dragon here. I know what I said. But how could that be? When Malakim are tainted by malevolence, a dragon is what ultimately results. Ah. Uh. So you're saying that dragon was a Malak Zavid once now? She must be who he was praying for back in town. Yeah, most likely. Uh. But do Malakim put out malevolence like humans do? No. Not by themselves, they don't. Oh. But if one remains in contact with humans or demons who do, it will eventually taint her, and she will become a dragon. What about you, kiddo? You feel anything weird after you got thrown into the Earth Pulse at the Empyrean's throne? I did, yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. The air there was thick with malevolence being sent on its way to Enominat. If I'd stayed there, I might be a dragon too. Is having a vessel not enough to prevent a Moloch from transforming? A vessel can reduce the effect, but not eliminate it. Oh. By stripping their Molochim of consciousness, the Abbey Exorcists seem to be able to inhibit the transformation. But nothing in this world is guaranteed. Oh, it's can like a catching a cold or something like that. Nope. Just like so with demons, somebody that no going they back. knew has a lot of malevolence a demon you or human that, that they're close what do you with think? then they will catch well, it and that's... they will get or but zavid still won't kill it must be um, his creed at work get turned Eisen, into well listen, a dragon pretty whatever much business you and zavid have with that dragon i was gonna I say care. because malik's to, they're different they don't really turn into like in demons again. or do anything myself clear you've got it good now Let's get back to the Therian hunt. We'll regroup in Titania. Well, they did say the malevolence is quite a contagious thing, and if everyone if gets I swept around by that true, darkness, they will catch it too. And I wind up as a dragon someday. Oh. Or Aizen too. I don't. I don't know. Where should we go? Oh. Oh, we have to go. Oh, you know what? Oh, for goodness sake. Right, uh, Titania. There you are. Oh, yes. I'm doing this completely wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cliff's all my enemy. So now we need to go back to a port. Leave me alone. Right. Right. 
that way. Oh, what the fuck? Never mind. Just when Wokuru bloody gets up. You think? I'm not I'm not going down without a fight. Fuck it, Eleanor, I'm not reviving you. I'm not wasting one of my bottles on you. You die far too quickly. That's what you get. You are a pest, but you die already, you fucking little... Where the hell you are, butterfly thing. Oh my god. It was a close one. But I am the victor. Yeah, definitely you, not Eleanor. <laughs> ah, the expedition. Our scout oh, we got a moonstone. We can use it in Pokemon now. Oof. Scout ships. Oh shit, I'm pressing on one. Port, we need to get to port section. Hey, I never knew that. Jump over it. That's a fucking tease. Uh. Right, let's see if we can get through there. 
Oh, there we go. Every time I'm going to find a new one, I'm going to take it. Tidals, I knew it. Tidals, keeping tight circles. Oh, perfect timing, Eisen. I's got oh, another letter. Please. A letter. Did you get a reply to that letter you sent? What's it say? What's it say? I know everything that you've done. Repent for your horrendous deeds, you monster. What did you do, Aizen? Yeah. No idea. There's no sender written on here either. Who would write something so awful? Who cares? <laughs> if I gave a damn about other people's feelings, I wouldn't be a pirate. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Forget about it. What's the status of the other stuff? The Palmier made it just fine. But uh, we've run into some troubles finding the Nordals. My deepest apologies. What are Nordals? Yeah. Nordals used to be given out by Empyrean temples. If you collect a set of four, you find happiness. Oh, so they say. Nowadays, <laughs> there's only four left. Red, blue, green, and black. Even worse, nobody hardly knows nothing about them. Dolls of the Empyreans? Do you think they're like that one we saw of Aminoch in that shop in Isolt? Kind of. But these are less gloomy looking and more, uh... Hmm... How can I describe it? Something like a quiet radiance? A quiet radiance? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what about these turtles, but they're I, so cute and I weird at the same time. I'd never have pegged you as a collector of religious claptrap, Eisen. Think they'll help keep the Reaper away? Probably not. But in the off chance they actually work, they'll keep her safe. Huh. Huh. Hey. That letter Eisen sent off earlier was addressed to a woman, wasn't it? <laughs> Our little Lofty said is growing up. N no, I wasn't implying she was his girlfriend. Her writing just seemed more mature, and... <laughs> no, I was just giving out the eyes. It's nothing like that. She's my younger sister. I knew it, it was Edna. I didn't know you had a sister. She's the only family I have left. She and I live apart for various reasons. I'm guessing your death curse is one of them, huh? Mogilu! <laughs> so Aww. that's why. I'd be happy to help you look for those dolls, Aizen. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, then. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, cats or dogs? I saw Benwick and the other crew members get into a serious fight over whether cats or dogs were better. I don't get what the big deal is. I can't believe you could say such a thing! No conflict <laughs> is more perilous than the one that has dogged mankind since the dawn of civilization! What the actual the hell are you going on about, Mangalu? dog lovers and cat lovers. Between each side lies a divide. Maybe not all that deep, but unbridgeable all the same. I'd say we're lucky that the squabble you saw didn't escalate into anything more serious. I had no idea it was such a big deal. <laughs> so what side do all of you fall on? I am, without a doubt, a cat person. Cats and witches have a long history together. Ah. Personally, I prefer dogs because they can cohabit with humans while following rules. But I like cats too, because they're cute. What about you, Rokuro? Secret hmm. I liked cats, so I don't. I like <laughs> dogs even less. Always wagging their tails for their masters. <laughs> I feel the same hmm. way. Dogs will trade anything for food. Learning tricks, wagging their tails, getting friendly, and in time, even forgetting to howl. I think that's too cynical. Dogs make efforts to please humans so that we can live together. They're friendly and compassionate creatures. This is quite the debate Isn't about cat, cat lovers or... Um, Actually, cat lovers like or dog lovers. Best. When I lived with my sister, <gasps> I said you are the best guy ever. Let me pet them. We got a squirrel lover. Eisen's part of the squirrel dogs. team now. To pick a side. <laughs> if I had to choose, yeah, it'd be cats. There's something lovable about the way they act, especially when you spoil them. 
reminds me a lot of my sister. What about you, Velvet? Cats or dogs? Dogs. They don't betray you. You always have to be so serious. Yeah, <laughs> that went really so serious for a minute. So Velvet and Eleanor like dogs, while Mogilu and Aizen prefer cats. And Rokuro doesn't care for either one. That makes you our tiebreaker, kid. Yeah, the who would it be? The showdown is in your hands. It is? Now that you're no longer the Abby's dog, perhaps you're thinking of being one for Velvet's column? What has that got to do with anything? <laughs> We're just talking about which animal we like. If you're getting so angry over this, he's going to have no choice but to pick dogs. I just told you. No more fighting! <laughs> this is clearly getting out of hand. So why don't you all agree that you're bien foo people and make up already? And what makes you special enough to have bien foo people? Because I can be loyal like a dog, but also do my own thing like a cat. If you pick me, everybody wins. I don't uh, think it works. No, that it way. doesn't. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I saw a chest. Yeah, we're going to uh, the prison island. Well, te we'll call it Titania because technically um, it's really our hideout now. It's not really a prison anymore. So what is the next step? I guess a dragon was a bit much to take on, even for the Reaper. You should get some rest. We all should. Yeah. I'll just get the crew started on readying the ship for our next departure. And for some all yummy right. food. You go do that. said, you should get some rest too. I'm fine. It's more important that I focus on finding an actual Therian this time. I'm going to take another try at sensing the Earth Pulse points. You're as stubborn as ever, Fee. I'm stuck. Rest for a while. Oh no, I'm doing it again! I'm doing it again! Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I, can't... I can't even use this thing! There you go! <gasps> I can't even use that thing in here! Nice dial. Hey, Whoa! Didn't know he was part of the skit. Oh, complaining, is All it? Kurgane. Come on, don't be like that. Every time I turn around, Velvet or one of the pirates is telling me to go make some delivery to some island. I can never get a break. Isn't that just a sign they think you're a dependable guy? Maybe, but I don't see them sending you off on errands. It's like they take one look at your face and decide to leave you alone. Oh, to be honest, Kurgane doesn't face. have a face. <laughs> I <laughs> said that at the same the time, then. <laughs> Maybe you just don't know how much work I do around here. It's I didn't think me and Kurogame was going to jinx each other, then. I do it. Making tools. Repairing things. What do you take me for? Some kind of cheeky freeloader? I don't even have cheeks. You have butt cheeks. <laughs> You're too funny. Just not face but cheeks. Doesn't it ever annoy you to have all these kids giving you orders? I've spent my entire life thinking of nothing but forging swords. It's been centuries since I've interacted with youngsters like them. They can be a hassle, but at least it's a new hassle. 
Yeah, that's what I thought at first. So I went along with whatever they asked. But I've been too nice, so they keep pushing work onto me. Maybe if I hadn't been so helpful, they would have stayed out of my face like they stay out of yours. I don't have <laughs> a face. <laughs> that's not the point. Aren't you even listening to what I'm saying here? You need to make up your mind. You and I got on this ship alongside these people who are putting themselves in great danger in order to live the lives of their choosing. If you don't like it, then go on and get off this ship with your tail between your legs. Yeah, except I don't have a tail right now. Oh yeah, you still don't, do you? I forgot about that. Uh, I'm just trying to remember where the where the B1 is. I think it's this way. Down there. Where are we going to rest? Oh my goodness. It's really hard to turn this, turn in this thing. Oh god, will you get through? <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard now, Lafayette. You, you hear me? I hear you. I just... Where am I sleeping? Ah. I told everyone I could find the Therians, but I've only sent us to the wrong places. Aizen, is there any way to boost a Moloch's powers? Oh. I guess it's okay for me to tell you this. The majority of Malachim today have their consciousnesses sealed away to be used as mere tools for the exorcists. But originally, Malachim were beings who received prayers from people and in return bestowed their blessings upon nature and mankind. Oh. So you're saying that when humans pray to a Moloch, the Moloch receives great strength? Yes. Oh. In general, at least. Some Malachim, like me, buck the system and bring about misfortune rather than divine grace. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but yeah. who would ever pray to me? Maybe you didn't lead us to any Therians, Faye. But it's not like we came back empty-handed. We found Ori Kalkum to use against Shigure. Yeah. And we also learned we can hold our own against a dragon. Velvet. Just about. You definitely so did, Faye. We go it, was, next, uh, Faye? it was bloody Nothing. Velvet and Eleanor, actually. There's a big Earth Pulse point north of Helibis. Works for well, me. Velvet died a few times, Eisen? but yeah. We can leave whenever you want. Doesn't matter to me. And I'm all set. Let's make our way to the harbor. Yeah. When I say prayers, I don't mean outright worshipping. All I'm talking about are earnest thoughts and feelings directed at you. I see. So I'm already receiving prayers then. <laughs> Aww. Right. Let's go. Oh, I need to hold it on the button. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Turn! <laughs> oh my god, they're going the wrong way again. 
I will master this board someday. I will do it. Go up the stairs, go up the stairs, go up the stairs. <laughs> the orbs oh, oh. Go. turn 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 no shit <laughs> <laughs> all right there you go i'm going the wrong Away again. It's all thanks to you the construction of our hideout is proceeding so smoothly. About that retractable ventilation shutter. Please, let me make a new one. What? Why? We already installed it and it works just Ooh. fine. It's the hinges. When they move, it makes this unbearable squeak. Squeak, squeak. I can hear it every time <laughs> the wind blows. Oh, come on. That's nothing. Besides, anything we install is going to rust up once the sea breeze gets to it. More importantly, I'd love it if you made us a nice big pot and a frying pan, too. Not happening. I can't focus with that incessant squeaking. <laughs> I can't work on the squeaking. Kogame does not Fine. like the squeaking. You can make a new shutter, but make us a pot and pan while you're at it. Can I also fix that autonomous hunter killer anti personnel spinning blade engine I made the other day? That too. Oh, what? <laughs> the what? The what? With how it turned out. I was at first, but when I thought about it, I realized I forgot to install an off switch. So, can I fix it? God, yes! Fix it before it kills us all! Great. Okay. Shutter first, then. The spinning death machine first! <laughs> I went the wrong way. So it's that way I meant to go. Alright. Alright. Oh, there we go. Our next target is north of Helavis, near the Faldi's ruins. In light of everything we know, I'd say it's highly likely we'll find a Therian there. Let's hope! Then we should make our All first right. stop, Port Helavis. With the uh, mischief we got into last time, getting into the city might prove difficult. Benwick, how are things in Helavis right now? That shipping guild that used to handle our mooring is pretty much toast. But for some reason, the Abbey isn't watching the port as much as they once were. Unfamiliar ships have been hauling in relief supplies, so if we pose as one of the transport ships, I think we can slip in. And if we divert some supplies to an unofficial channel, we might be able to secure a new mooring partner. Hmm. Smuggling in relief supplies for our own disaster. Cheeky bastards, aren't we? It's what'll get us in. That much is true. It's a plan. Roger. I'll get right on it. Sounds good. Hey, Eleanor. Abbey exorcists don't pray to their tethered Malachim, do they? You mean something besides our oaths? An oath is a magical formula that grants you power in exchange for binding you to a rule, right? Yes, though that is simplifying it a bit. When Malachim receive human prayers, they bestow their blessings upon people in nature. Aizen told me that we Malachim grow stronger when humans pray to us. Prayers and blessings? I've never heard of that. I used to think the same way as the other exorcists. Malachim are merely tools that allow us the use of arts. Yeah, that's mm. what I figured. Yeah, that's but what I thought Nod too. But is different. The exorcists all worship him. They have faith in his mighty power. And not only that, the people of this nation pray to the Empyrean for salvation, just as Artorius instructs them. Ah, I get it now. See the wheels turning, do you, kiddo? Huh? Artorius founded the Abbey within the existing Church of the Empyreans so that he could direct the people's thoughts towards Enominat. So that even while they lionize Artorius as their savior, they're made aware of Enominat's presence behind him. 
everyone starts believing in Inomina, the I wonder what Inomina looks like. Because right now I just see a big power. black hole. <laughs> After the centuries long decline of Empyrean worship, uh, actually, I don't know if it was a black hole. Anyone today could imagine. Um, the pieces do fit. Oaths, prayers, blessings, the I demon light. Oh so no! Much in this world is affected by matters of the heart. No, yeah, it, it was hard to tell because effective and meddlesome. It just looked like You're a big going up against the rest of the ball of darkness world, where you had so troubled, uh, feet as a big ball of light. So believe in me. So I am a Moloch after all. <laughs> I oh, just wonder, as a Moloch, wonder what so Inominat brave, looked so like. Quickly. Have I? But you're still or cute is it a being? Is it pretty much just like that big ball of darkness? Hey, I'm not sure. I do wonder. Huh? My face isn't red. Hmm? <laughs> a letter. Oh, hmm. oh. Another one. Hey, Aizen. What's it feel like to get a letter? I don't feel anything, nor do I want or need to. There's no joy in receiving these things. Huh? Why not? <laughs> don't be so shocked. Look, it's just an invoice from the turtles. What's the big deal anyway? Do you wish you'd get letters too? Yeah. But I don't have anyone to send letters to. Let alone anyone who would send me any. Loppy said, I've got a letter for you. What? Really? Who could it be from? The sender is... Bienfu? Yep, yep! You got a letter from yours truly! I don't I know how he feels about that. I wanted someone to send you a letter right about now, so I wrote one up for you. What do you think? You're happy, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, Bienfu. I'll mm. even read it for you. <laughs> Dear Moloch Loppy Set, I hope that this letter finds you in good health and high spirits. Thankfully, I'm doing well myself, with no major changes to report. Bienfu's taking all this so seriously. Yeah. It's so rare to actually see him like this. As you're aware, I've been spending my days ironing Mogilu's outfits, sewing her buttons, and washing her uh. hands and tremendously long socks. Recently, however, I made the mistake of remarking to her that she might not have been quite as slender as she once was in her younger years. Uh. She hung me upside down from the roof in the middle of the cold. I nearly became a frozen Norman sickle. It was so horrible that I couldn't stop my tears from flowing down my little cheeks. Bien. <laughs> uh, there's the Bienfu we know and love. Pretty much. All you wrote about in that letter was yourself. And you even read it out loud yourself. That's okay. Yeah. Thanks, Bienfu. It feels nice to get a letter. That's so kind of you to say. I think I might Again. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Bienfu. He's definitely like annoying, but he's not annoying in a positive way. I'll give him that. Right. So that's it for today, everybody. So, next time, um, it will be carrying on with Tales of Bazaria for, um, on Thursday, and we'll be carrying on by uh, coming across Ethereum, possibly. Might try again and find one. Uh, yeah, and hopefully, next time, I'm going to do better on that bloody geo board. <laughs> We'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> so, I hope everyone had a fantastic day. And I'll see you all for next time. Take care. Goodbye.